about clean tech because you know a lot of people have sort of favored from that, but you're you still believe in it. Yeah. So we are big believers in clean tech. We just had a, a three-day-long offsite and said we are going to keep doing that in a pretty aggressive way. Yeah. We'll probably do a smaller number of companies and invest much more per company because there are fewer co-investors around. It's a little bit out of fashion. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we're doing very well with it. We are very happy with it, so we've decided to keep doing more of it. Doesn't clean tech need the government to get involved to make something successful? They pay Absolutely the not. Money. So yeah. this is the fallacy, and that's what I call fashion clean tech. Okay. Fashion clean tech is where you're relying on subsidies or policy. Yeah. There's plenty of areas where you don't need that. Like what? Uh, so we have this coolest company called Sora introduced an MR16 lamp. Uh, there's probably a bunch of those around here. You just buy it. And you buy it because it pays for itself in a few months and yeah. it's a lot better and keeps saving you money. Um, what about no all policies, stuff, uh... no subsidies. We just do it. Uh, let me give you the data. This is okay. really surprising to people. I think we've done 11 equity finance, uh, 11 companies have done financings this year. About yeah. a half a billion raised in those 11 companies, yeah. every single one and up round. Are the, now, this is clean tech you're talking this about? This is yeah. clean tech only. Okay. Right? Half a billion raised in equity financing and about yeah. a billion and a half raised in project financing by these companies. Every single one in Upra. So there are naysayers. Um, we've had a pretty great markups this year yeah. in both our um, private portfolio and then the public portfolios go up and down. Yeah. Who cares? Uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, okay, on clean tech. Is there any science fictiony stuff that that's being explored out there? Like really cool laser beam hovercrafts. So, we are doing lightsabers, like you know, cool stuff. Lightsabers, no lightsabers, but there is yeah. very cool stuff. Like what? Uh, well, so how do you do air conditioning without having a compressor? I don't know, but that's not cool. It is very cool because it involves all <laughs> types of thermoelectric material science and complex modeling. Um, Mention another one, Lightsail, one of uh, one of our recent. Uh, actually, we've been in it for three or four years. Okay. Uh, just did a financing. Uh, they're saying the best way to build a battery is to store energy, electricity in compressed air, not in chemistry. Are they, they're, they're, are they doing more than saying that? Have they shown it to work? Uh, they're demonstrating it. Okay. Um, cool. It's a, a, you know, if you want grid scale storage, like yeah. hundreds of megawatt hours. Yeah. You've got to do it in something that works at very large scale. Light yeah. sales doing that. Yeah. The other area we've had a lot of fun with is as part of our sustainability effort, we're doing a lot of investment in food. Yeah, well, I was going to get to that. But go oh, ahead. You're going to get yeah. to that? Well, I was going to say, like, you talked to me about a lettuce picking operation that you funded, among other things. Let's talk about all these because they're amazing. I'm, I will 